Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers, laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And we're here, all right? Things foretold in the scriptures are coming to pass. Matter of fact, <clears throat> get a quick precept okay because you know all the things that the Lord has said are going to come to pass why because he decreed these things this is the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 3 for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it because it will surely come it will not tear and we are approaching perilous times all right things that were foretold are coming to pass let's get the book of second timothy chapter 3 and verse 1 and it says at the top difficult times will come all right it's for a surety and we're at the beginning stages of that right it says know this also that in the last days Perilous times shall come. See? And we're in the midst of that. Right? It says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. And we're seeing all those things play out, all right? You know, you got uh, different guys now. I seen a video <laughs> where this dude followed this woman, all right, to her door, and she, she barely escaped, man, all right? That was the wrath of the Lord hunting her down. And, and the Lord <laughs> allowed her, all right, to have a reprieve at that time. Well, these perilous times are going to increase. It says traitors, yeah, man. Folks who you think, all right, in the truth, all right? Folks who you think, that's your buddy. Traitors, right? Heady, high-minded, yo, proud. Lovers of pleasure more than lovers of the most high. Yeah, they're going to, all right, uh, try and turn certain brothers in, okay, because they want to continue in this world. That's why it says lovers of pleasures more than lovers of the most high. See? But the Lord has told us these things before time. All right. He's given us a blueprint. Then then King David tell matter of fact, let's get that. Then King David tell uh Solomon to show himself a man, right? This is first Kings. See? David's charge to Solomon, right? First Kings two and one. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. See, these times we're entering in, you got to have to show yourself a man. All right. It's not going to be up for debate who the Lord is dealing with in that day. Right. Let's get another quick precept. Let's go to the book of Job. Chapter 38. This is Job chapter 38 and verse 1. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Yeah, Job was catching hell, man. All right, let's listen to what Yahweh, Yahweh by Shah Shah. Let's listen to what Yahweh told Job, right? Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind and said, Who is this that darkened of counsel by words without knowledge? <laughs> Gird up now thy loins like a man. For I will demand of thee and answer thou me. See, the Lord is going to prove us, man. All right. And these times we're entering is is going to be unlike any other. All right. The times of Jacob trouble. You have to show yourself a man. All right. You got to be ready for sake. Everything that's in this world. Okay. Let's go to the book. Of Second Ezra. Chapter 14. And verse 14. It says, let go from the mortal thought. See, 
This is a, a, a blueprint that the Lord is telling us. Let go of the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature, see? And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste thee to free from these times, see? You gotta be, be ready, man. Okay? It says, For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. See? It's gonna be greater evils, man. Sedition. All out hell, man. All right? Let's go. Stay, well, back, yeah, staying in the book of Second Ezra. All right? Chapter 13. And let's start at verse 18. Now uh, now understand I the things that are laid up in the latter days, which shall happen unto them and to those that are left behind. Therefore are they come into great peril, see, and many necessities. See, these things have to happen, right? Like as these dreams declare. See, yet it is easier for him that is in danger, right, to come into these things, then pass away as a cloud out of the world. Yeah, it's going to be people, all right, it's going to be put to death, right? It says, and not to see the things that happen in the last days. And he answered unto me and said, the interpretation of the vision shall I show thee. And I will open unto thee the things that thou hast required, whereas thou hast spoken of them that are left behind. This is the interpretation. He that shall endure the peril in that time, see, he that shall endure the peril in that time have kept himself. They that, they that be fallen into danger are such as have works and faith toward the Almighty. See, it's the prerequisite. All right, this this is the the blueprint that the Lord has laid out. You got to show yourself a man. You got to endure all these things that are coming up. Right? It says, "Know this, therefore, that they which be left uh, left behind are more blessed than they that be dead." See. You're enduring these certain perils, man. Is Lord said is you're blessed than the than, than the ones who perish. Okay? And we gotta understand these things. Alright, you gotta show yourself a man. We have to show ourselves a man. Right? And, and we're gonna need Yahweh by Shabbat, alright, to, to be with us in that day. This is Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 10. Fear thou not. For I am with thee, be not dismayed, for I am thy power. See, the Lord giving us pep talk. He's telling us, hey, man, I'm going to bring hell upon the earth. All right? You got to trust in me to make it through all these said perils. It says, I will strengthen thee. Yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Who is the right hand? Yahweh was shot, man. All right? The Lord has... Certain men, okay, that he's going to cover through all those said perils, right? It says, Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing. See, <laughs> they shall be as nothing. And they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou that seek them. Shalakia, thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee. The Lord is telling you, hey man, I got your back, right? Don't trust in no weapons, trust in me, because the Lord wants all the glory, okay? It says, they that war against thee shall be as nothing, see, and as a thing of naught, for I am the Lord thy power. Excuse me, excuse me. For I, the Lord, thy power, will hold thy right hand. Yeah, the Lord is going to lead us, all right, through all these certain dangers. It says, saying unto thee, fear not, I will help thee. See, 
Fear not thy worm, O Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So, yeah, man, when I show ourselves men, all right, go through all the said perils and trust in the Lord, you have by shall shy. Okay? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, the elders of Ray Millstone. Much respect to you, brothers, labor worldwide, in truth and sincerity, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect. Believe it on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Lord willing, coming to you with another lesson. Till the next time I say, Shalom.